Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rocket Craft Season 2, where we're going to be beginning this episode with a spot of shop restocking. I've got some beacons here to put in our beacon shop that we run for the benefit of the community. So, any profits that we get go straight back into the community funds. So, I just need to work out uh, how this was laid out exactly something like this so there's like beacons if you want to buy separate beacons on their own you can do that or you can also buy beacons with a complete base as well well enough blocks to make a base just like that so um there we go and 18 blocks of profit that go straight back into the community funds very nice everyone is a winner in that situation there and of course we've got a a turtle watching us as well. He likes to watch me while I'm working. Ooh, kinky. Right, so with that out of the way, um, we'll, we'll claim a server quest for that one. Restock one of your shops. It's only worth one diamond. It's only worth one point, but it's still something. So I'll go chuck that up on the top floor and take a look at another one. Why not? Let's build a wither skeleton exhibit at the zoo area. What could what could go wrong with that? That sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? So, I've knocked up a fairly rudimentary sort of replica of a nether fortress here in one of the corners of the zoo area. And of course, when you're dealing with the nether mobs, you've got to have a nether portal. That goes without saying, really, doesn't it? And so I've put this portal here, it's just temporary, and hopefully it's gonna link up with the portal that I've built on the other side. Yes, it does, beautiful. I don't know if you remember, I actually used that, that very same portal for getting the hoglings in there. And it does go past this nether fortress where we should be able to find some wither skeletons. And, uh, well, Turtle's come over to watch me again. He likes watching me, he does. And Wondernut was in the area as well. So she thought she'd, uh, she'd pop by and see how things are progressing with this exhibit. And um, yeah, well, we're, we're about to try and wrangle us some withers and get them in here. So back in the nether, we've got a couple of withers attention from the fortress there. And there we go. One is in the minecart ready to go. And there's another one lurking somewhere around here. But we'll just quickly name tag him withers. And where's the other one gone? Oh, there it is. Um, can I get, can I interest you in a minecart, sir? Ah! No! Well, I mean, yes, I wanted that one to go that way anyway, but I also didn't want you to start hitting me, because that really hurts. With the skeletons are kind of dangerous. I know they're only armed with a stone sword, but they know how to use it. So there we go, that's number two, name tagged, and of course, let's just bop this minecart so that he will end up in the overworld. Of course, with the skeletons, they won't burn in the overworld. They've got nothing to worry about. It's weird. They're one of the only undead mobs that I can think of that won't burn. Um, Zoglins, I suppose, being the other one. Uh, probably because they didn't start in the overworld. And then, yeah, we'll just pop this guy in as well. That was pretty simple as well. And then, why not? We might as well go for a third as well. Hello. Would you like to in the zoo of course you would there you go right and we'll just uh, send you through and that will be that so there he is he's ready to go in the portal and if i could just work out where the hitbox of this minecart was there we go right so we've got three with us that actually was pretty easy i mean i i don't understand how that was so easy but they're just very compliant they are very happy to chase you wherever you want to lead them, basically. So, I've flown back over from a far away portal so I don't accidentally link back to this one. And we should have some wither skeletons in there. But we're going to take out the portal because obviously we don't want to accidentally send them back through. There they are. The minecarts I couldn't care less about. And of course, we've got to be quite careful around these guys because they do really, really hurt. So, three withers. In the zoo, that was actually, well, incredibly easy, I thought. They, they just, they're very happy to just sort of chase you wherever you want to lead them, and, and then they're trapped. 
So yeah, that's pretty much that exhibit finished. But the others suggested that I maybe add a few more bits of detail and stuff to this thing. And of course, while doing that, I had an accident. And yeah, now now the Wither Skeletons have fallen through the floor, uh, all three of them. And I can't get them back out again very easily. So I'm just going to pop a light source in here because I thought oh, I'll put like the little lava well in here and that will be the light source for the exhibit as well but of course I accidentally knocked out the wrong block didn't I and well now my wither skeletons are in the wrong place so I've got to try and rectify that mistake so I wonder what happens if I knock out this block here will they chase me of course they will and will I be able to lead them back into the area. Yeah, yeah, they seem to be following. Are they following? Come on, guys. It's, it's only a bush. It's not that difficult. And well, we've got one back in there. Please, please, no, no, no. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They've stolen all my stuff. Uh, Sarah's come over to try and help, like, lead them back in but they uh, they really hurt when you're naked and oh dear Sarah's down as well Sarah is down and so am I uh, this could be an interesting death loop now oh come on give me a break guys I just need my elytra and oh my god literally one hit my sword one hit and Sarah's led them away they're not right here right now. They're sort of lingering around by that tree there. Uh, I don't know if the totem will actually do me much good here because that sword really wrecks face. Can I get you back in here, sir? You've got most of my armor on. Would you like to come, come back in? At least I've got my chest plate. There's that at least, he didn't steal that. Um. Yeah, this is a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? How do we how do we lead these guys back in here and then not die? Oh, I suppose I better pick up Sarah's shulker box. She's always got shulker boxes full of random things on her. Oh, I mean, they seem quite happy there, just sort of chilling around the tree. They're not in any hurry whatsoever to get back in that enclosure, are they? Um, I'm just wondering, should I kill them? Should I just cut my losses and just kill them and then start again? Because it really wasn't that difficult to get them in there. Uh-oh. Um, let's get a few more totems out. Come on then, with a... We've already lost one of them. Oh, oh my god. That thing hits like a train. Oh, ow! Come on, give me a break. Give me a break. No, no. <laughs> Oh, the wither effect as well. It will. It, 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 it's not so bad. Like, well, I mean, the sword is just bad on its own, but the wither effect as well. Right, you're in. Can I? Can I manage to trick you into staying in there? Yes, apparently I could. Um, well, that that solves that problem. We've got one back in there. But what do I do with this guy? I mean. He's got all the rest of my armor now. He even stole my chest plate. He looks really good. And he's got my sword as well. Oh. Uh, this is a tough decision, but I think I'm just going to have to kill this guy. And cut my losses and try and get another two back in there. But I'm thinking I am going to keep this guy. I know he's got all my armor. But I... I mean, he might as well have everything. You might as well just take the boots as well. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, uh, what to do? What to do? I think I'm going to have to build the portal again and try not to get killed by that guy. And Is he going to attack? Does he attack? Oh, yeah, yeah, he attacks. <laughs> Man, one hit kill when you're naked. That's just insane. Like, Wither Skeletons are kind of like Minecraft's Terminator. They are literally... Turtle, what are you doing? Okay. 
Maybe I deserve that, I don't know. But um, yeah, as I was saying, Wither Skeletons are kind of like the ultimate killing machine in Minecraft. They're fast, they hit really hard, they can equip armour and weapons. I mean, other, other mobs are out there that uh, are pretty nasty as well, like Vindicators. And they can be equipped with armour but it just doesn't render on them. You can't see the armor, so it's not as good, I don't think. Ow, stupid magma cube. Um, whereas the Wither Skeletons, you can see all the armor and it does look pretty good on them, which is why I'm like thinking I might lead that guy as like the sort of the king of the Wither Skeletons in that display there. But um, the only thing that, the only weakness, the only one weakness that the Wither Skeletons have is the fact that they're three, well, they're two and a half blocks tall so they can't fit under a two block gap, whereas a Vindicator could. A Vindicator could, could follow you literally anywhere that you can go. Um, so, I mean, for that reason, I, I would decide that Wither Skeletons are Minecraft's ultimate killing machine. And, well, now we've got three of them trapped in this enclosure again. So, uh, same as before, we're gonna have to knock out this portal and make it so that they can't accidentally go through because can you imagine if that guy with the armor had accidentally gone back through i'd be so upset total still watching probably laughing could you just get down there ow you're not supposed to hit me you're just supposed to get down at least i've got my pickaxe back there's there's that's something they're not interested in picking those up but they will happily upgrade their stone sword to a netherite sword and they will wear whatever armor you chuck at them as well so yeah uh i've renamed him he is dj harry bones and he is king of the wither skeletons and i've added a little lava moat around here as well uh, i need to replace the dirt blocks there with some nether brick but apart from that i i would say that this this enclosure is looking pretty complete now it's ticking all the boxes for me and i do love <laughs> i do love that that special with the skeleton there he does look really good doesn't he and i look distinctly plain now very very dull i need to uh, sort out my armor but first things first we're going to claim that server quest there it turned out to be not as straightforward as i had hoped it was all it was going so well so perfectly and as you can see, Jay has been very busy as well. He's built a new shop. And yeah, so, you know, the competition is well and truly on there with the server quests. Now, back at my base, I'm going to have to use a bunch of netherite ingots and smithing upgrade templates and uh, recreate my armor that was stolen from me by that wither skeleton. And I think I have accurately recreated all of these. Or did I get one of them wrong? Yeah, I think the boots were actually that one, were they? Yeah. Well, anyway, I've recreated it as close as I can, and now I look how I looked before, basically. So, um, yeah, that was that was a minor inconvenience, to be honest, but it wasn't that big of a deal, really. Right, it's time to restock one of my other shops, the DJ Dip. So I've been hard at work getting together all of these shulkers here. There's so many. And uh, I won't be able to claim a server quest for this one because, well, I've already done that server quest. So you can't do the same server quest twice. So we've got some totems and the experience bottles there, three blocks of diamonds, a beacon, uh, an entire box of netherrack, a box of cherry logs and some other pink bits, a box of puffer fish, I know someone that would like that, a box of frog lights, all different types, an entire box of cooked beef, that will keep someone going a long time, a god pig that has fortune three, an entire box of leather, not so useful, uh, a god shovel that has fortune three, so not good on gravel, uh, a silk touch shovel though, a god hoe with silk touch, very nice, a god sword with sharpness five and all of the trimmings, an entire box of rotten flesh, a netherite upgrade template, a few more different uh, smithing templates there that uh, you can't get anywhere else on the server. You can't buy these unless you find them. And so they're, they're desirable. A sniffer egg. I'm not fussed about sniffers in the slightest. Uh, 64 anvils. 
kind of useful, and a bunch of azaleas, a shulker of name tags, two enchanted apples, and a bunch of normal gold apples, a conduit kit, complete with all the bits to make the actual conduit, a god bow, complete with a bunch of arrows, even though you only need one because it's got infinity, a swift sneak three, and a bunch of gold and some netherite scraps, more gold netherite scraps, and this time it's got golden carrots, uh, a load more rockets and totems and experience, an enchanted elytra, complete with all of the rockets, and here we go, we've got a bunch of different shards, or shards, uh, that I bought from Turtle Shop. Me and Chef bought him out the other day, and I kind of regret that, so I'm trying to get rid of him. DJ's unwashed bed, and a shulker of stone. So yeah, all in all, some really nice things in there, and a couple of duds, which is usually the way that it goes in the DJ dip. You'll get one bad one for every sort of four or five good ones, so it's pretty good odds. So, I've taken them over to the DJ dip, and I've restocked it, and it's time to pull out the profits, and we've got 24 diamond blocks here. We've sold 24 boxes in the last week, and some nice people have left behind their empty boxes that they don't need, so I can reuse those, because we're all about recycling and saving the planet on Rocket Craft. So all in all, that was pretty good. I've got 12 diamond blocks, and so has Miss Sonic. And now it's time for the weekly Rocket Craft Lottery Draw. And we've got a couple of and newer players over here, D and Mess. And Turtle's joined us as well, and he's just putting his heads everywhere. And then he decided to just flex on everyone by just burning diamonds, because he's filthy rich now because we bought all those uh, shards, shards from his shop. We bought him out, and he doesn't really want to have to go through the pain of restocking the shop, but he's filthy rich, so it doesn't matter. So, we're going to invite D to press the button for this draw here, and we're going to get some numbers, and then we're going to have a look to see if anyone has won. So there's the first number. Right, so after all three numbers were drawn, we have discovered that Turtle has matched two numbers. So... And Turtle is the only person this week that has matched two numbers. So he has won 20% of the jackpot all to himself. So he can afford to burn even more diamonds. The irony, the person that really didn't need the diamonds at all has just won a load more. So we're going to make it rain on Turtle here. And yeah, he can just enjoy this diamond shower. All the diamonds. So many diamonds. That was like 67 diamonds there that he's won. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing that weird sniffer thing that he does. Just pick up your diamonds, Turtle, and get out of here. <laughs> but congratulations, Turtle. That was the first time that he's won the lottery. He has played it a few times, but he's uh, not been lucky up until now. And it's time now to build a statue. It's something that I haven't done for a very long time. Work has been just incredibly hectic and I just haven't had the time to be able to build and record uh, a time lapse like this. But we are coming towards the end of the season so I do need to pull my finger out and start building these statues because, well, I mean, I did kind of promise everyone that I would build them when they won things and so I've kind of got this obligation to get them all finished now. And so, yeah, I'm going to just try and smash out this one as quickly as possible, and then we've got a few more to do.
So there we go, that is Mojo Roberts, the dude of Minecraft. He was the other winner of the quiz, so he's there with his other quiz buddies there, Chef and Jed. And yeah, I mean, I was I was really struggling with Mojo's statue because he's got like this weird tan colour that doesn't really match much in the game. But anyway, uh, it is the 4th of July and Turtle has built this rather beautiful Statue of Liberty homage thing, villager nightmare fuel thing. And we're going to have a little fireworks display to celebrate the 4th of July. And Chef, please don't sleep again because we were about to do it the previous night and Chef slept, didn't he? But yeah, he uh, he has these occasional dirt moments where he's not paying attention. And Glyphs has thrown the switch and here comes the beautiful, beautiful fireworks. Now, fireworks are one of those things in Minecraft that take a lot of resources to make in survival, but they do look so worth it. Like all the different colors and patterns and effects that you can do absolutely chef's kiss so like i say we are coming to the end of the season very soon it's just around the corner so we're just going to be finishing bits and pieces off around the world getting it ready for the world download and well i mean you can download it and enjoy it yourself when um, when i do make the link available if you are able to download worlds that is i mean i know not everyone is able to the poor console players crying in the corner there but um, for everyone else that is available like or able to download the world download you are more than welcome to enjoy this amazing world because it is incredible the amount of stuff that people have done around here just looks insane uh, couldn't be more proud of our community and all that we've achieved over the last year and a half so um, yeah we're gonna end this episode there I hope you have enjoyed it it's been a lot of fun as always and if you did enjoy it, you know, hit the like and the share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And otherwise, I will see you for maybe one more episode of Rocket Craft Season 2 very soon. And otherwise, you guys take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.